Today I'm making a paper circuit card with an LED light. I'll be using one of my favorite brands of art markers to color in the design. I decided to go with a cupcake design and during my first attempt it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. So I tried again using my failed attempt as kind of a guide behind the paper I was drawing on. This really helped me get it exactly the way that I wanted it to be. first material that I would recommend for making your paper circuit. I purchased my aluminum conductive tape at a surplus store called Axman that's available in my area. This roll costs $5.95. To be honest, if budget wasn't an issue, I would probably purchase it on Amazon and on Amazon they have the correct thickness that I need. In addition to the conductive tape, I also purchased 3 volt batteries and an LED light on Amazon. The LED lights came in a pack of 100 and had a variety of colors. Like I said before, the conductive tape that I purchased wasn't the correct width for the project that I'm doing. It was cost effective, but it requires a little more work for me. So I'm cutting the conductive tape into strips so it will work better to make my paper circuit. Now it's time to decide what I want my circuit to look like. For this circuit, I decided to make the circuit in a triangular shape. I first drew an L-like portion of the triangle and then the reverse side and then marked out where my battery is going to go. After that, I did a little test to make sure that both my battery and my light bulb were functioning properly. I wanted, also wanted to make sure that I remembered that the longer wire coming out of my LED light connects to the positive side of my battery and the shorter wire connects to the negative side of my battery. That will be important later in creating the card. Earlier I drew up my triangle on the back side of my cupcake. Now I drew a half of a triangle on the inside of my card that will become the back surface connected to the cupcake. Now it's time to lay out my first strip of conductive tape. It has a little sheet of paper covering the adhesive on the back. Like I said, this product was cost effective, but it doesn't have a conductive adhesive, so if your tape breaks, be careful with how you connect a second piece of tape to it. I just recommend trying to keep the whole strip together. It's the easiest way to make it work. The struggle can be real when you try to turn a corner using conductive tape. What I recommend is turning the tape so it's going in the opposite direction than where you eventually want it to go, then fold it back over in the direction where you need it to go. I ended up having a little bit of excess material, so I trimmed that. After that, I used an X-Acto knife to cut a small hole in my card on top of my cutting mat. Once I had cut the hole through the card, I placed the LED light through. I split the legs of the light apart, taping the positive or the longer side of the LED light to my first portion of the card. Now it's time to place the battery. This was the most challenging part for me. I made sure that the negative side of the battery was touching the second sheet of paper and the positive side of the battery 
was touching the piece of conductive tape that I had already taped the positive wire from the LED light to. When I thought I had it almost exactly where I wanted it to be, I taped the battery in place, making sure I left enough surface for the conductive tape to attach to. If the conductive tape didn't make a strong connection, the LED light won't be able to light up. At this point, I did a little test to see how everything was going. After I tested it out and made sure that my LED would work, I then taped the negative side of my LED light, the shorter side of the LED, to the second piece of conductive tape. That piece of conductive tape is attached to the negative side of the battery. When I tested it, I noticed I didn't have a super strong connection on the point where my LED light was connected to the conductive tape. I realized that I needed to press on that area and on top of the battery to make my light light up. I was fine with that as a solution for this problem, so I decided to write press in both of those locations. When I press on those locations, my LED light lights up, lighting the birthday candle on the card that I've created. The final step for me was to attach the outer layer of the card that I had made the design on to the inner layer of the card that would cover up the messy circuit that I created and help it maintain a strong connection.